this is episode 85 of Modded Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. So last episode, we wanted to get back into pretty much the ME storage system. And we wanted to start making the ME storage drives. But we pretty much found out the ext crazy extreme length you actually got to go to to actually make a 64K drive. So last episode we tried to sort of start automating the process of making most of the little chips for it to make it a hell of a lot easier for us, us to make a metric butt ton of them without sitting there and doing a lot of clicking and all the crazy stuff. Anyway, go check out the last episode if you're a bit lost on what's going on here. It, it's all in the last episode. It's a little bit long, but it was it was good stuff. It was good fun. It was very good fun. So anyway, a quick, quick rundown of what, what's going on here. But um, pretty much the first set here is making the, um, as you can see, it is literally making the, the gold ones here, which is making the logic, uh, the printed logic circuits. And that goes down into here, which obviously a silicone comes down into here and prints it off and turns it into a logic processor. See, pretty basic stuff. So you'll see it go, you'll, yep, Bob your uncle. So we have everything getting pulled out of a single chest. Everything is going back and forwards to a single chest. See, see we've got printed silicone coming into the chest, and then we'll have pr printed silicone getting pulled out when needed, which is obviously good. And the finished result comes down the bottom here, which is good. Now, I've made up some 1K storage components already. Basic stuff, basic stuff there, which is good. Um, um, we've got, obviously we've got to keep this sort of stocked up and, and supplied, uh, for it to constantly work. As you can see, we've got silicone down in the corner. We need a gold, redstone, and just plain silicone. Now, the second line here, obviously, is the, uh, this is printing off the silicone as itself and doing a double, is doing double here. So we can obviously supply it quite quickly. And that obviously travels back. It either gets sucked into this chest immediately uh, one of these things immediately, or it will literally travel back, because we have, we've got retrievers on everything, so it pretty much retrieves what, the device will retrieve, or the chest, uh, it will retrieve whatever from the chest or device it needs, and what spare, which is obviously a good thing, so we don't have to have multiple chests, that's the whole goal here. Now, um, as you can see, I've done a little bit of off-camera work here. We've got, um, I've gone ahead and upgraded to draconic chests here. Um, I've brought over a bunch of redstone and, and certius quartz and everything else to, for, to making the, um, 1k storage components, because they're quite easy. If you click on this real quick, see, um, uh, these, these, these 1k storage, uh, component chips are quite easy. It's just redstone and quartz and a logic processor in the middle, which we've already automated. So what I want to do there is automate the making of those 1k store, one, the, the 1k, one of these things. I want to automate that too. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And, um, and then obviously we automate the last step here once we've got, um, that's all, all, all automated and then we, we, we've got the 1k storage cell but we're not going to use the 1k storage cell because we want to go straight to the 64 just remember the the seriously the 1k to make the 4k requires the 1k to make the 16k requires the 4k and to make 64k makes the, you, you need the 16k oh crikey see what i mean that's why we're trying to automate as much as we possibly can here. So anyway, to move on to the second step is a little bit different. As you can see, the crafting recipe is the same, but if you click the 4K, you require a bunch of 1Ks for the 4K as well. And if we went up even higher to the 16, you'll notice we require a bunch of 4K chips for the, the 16K there. But at the moment, we still only require the 1K, which is good. So, but anyway, the calculation process, sir, he, crikey, it requires a pure Sirtius Quartz Crystal. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm, I thought to myself, oh, crikey, that means we're going to be growing stuff from seeds, right? Remember this? We've went through this all before. You click on it, you know, it's just to drop in water, the seeds in, into water, into a puddle of water, and to make it, you need to yeah, do this and this. Oh, crikey. So, what I ended up doing... What I ended up doing, because obviously we're going to be making some of those this episode, um, I ended up making um, some growth crystal accelerators, which were, damn, they were cheap as to make. They are not expensive at all. I had everything laying around. See, so we've got the ME glass cable. We had iron. That's pretty much all it requires in a, in a freaking Watsy block. That was it to make some growth 
accelerators. Now remember, it absolutely takes forever for these things to grow. So what I ended up doing is making some of those growth accelerators and installing the growth accelerators before we grow these seeds down here. So as you can see, look, jump in the puddle here. But the one by one puddle, look at it. See, growth accelerators all the way around me. I put it like all the way around, which is blooming fantastic. But big, big, big problem. Um, I could not work out how to turn them on. So you right click, there's no UI. You know, I'm, I'm new to modded and I've never played with these growth accelerators before. So I'm like right clicking, it's got no UI, it's got no thing to tell you if it's got power. So obviously it's, it said device offline and I couldn't work it out. I'm like, okay. So I ended up plugging it into RF and EU and just trying to get it to blimmin' work and I couldn't get it to work. It just keeps saying device offline. And I was stressing out, scratching me blimmin' head and all that crazy stuff. Anyway, I finally had to quickly, you know, go Google it just to see what it required. And we'll take this one really quickly. Um, but it actually required, it required blimmin', um, it required to be hooked in straight into the ME smart cable. So if we put it down, it says device offline. And I plugged it into everything I bloody could think of and it was not turning on. But as soon as I plugged it into the actual ME smart cable, look how cool that is. And its device was online. So... Oh, you have no bloomin' clue. I was scratching my bloomin' head trying to get that thing to bloody work. Such a rookie thing, though. Seriously. But now I know. Now I know that's all good. That is done. So the first things first, I've been trying to... Well, oh, take some more here. I've been trying to break down as much of this Sirtius Quartz as possible for, obviously, making it into uh, to seeds here. Um, I've already got a st oh, I've got two stacks of, of dust here, which we can make into seeds very short. I'm really curious to see how long it's going to take the seeds that we're just about to make up, um, how long it's going to make the, take the seeds to grow. Now, pretty simple stuff to make these seeds. We're just putting it like this. See, Sirtius, uh, Sirtius Quartz Seeds. Boom. All right, we've got two stacks. Remember, I need a metric butt ton, as much as we possibly can get, because we're going to be making a metric butt ton of these pure quartz things. They're obviously quite important. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wouldn't mind one more stack and we'll get started. I need to automate this process too. Oh, this is fun. This is good stuff. But, yeah, so absolutely curious to see how long these seeds will grow, take to grow. Because remember, with, with like, pumping me in water, it actually took, like, I think three hours, something, something ridiculous. Really high number, three, four, five hours. I don't know. All I know is I waited an hour, these quartz crystal seeds weren't grown. I was like, okay. So, yeah, the growth accelerators hopefully will definitely make a good addition to our uh, little setup here and hopefully get things kicked into over bloom and drive because we need as much of this stuff as possible. So, we'll go throw these in. Hopefully, they're going to only take five minutes or so for the growth, these things to grow with these growth accelerators, especially how many I got around. All right. So, we just pretty much shift click, Q, throw them all in. So there you go. These things do not despawn. Okay, these things could just, they sit in the puddle of water and they just go for it. But it's not growing instantly. They're all still little. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll get it five minutes. Hope, hopefully it re these gross accelerators reduce it quite a lot because I, that's what I'm, I'm, you know, kind of hoping for, <laughs> to be honest. Um... No, okay. I thought maybe maybe these growth accelerators make it instant, but it doesn't. It doesn't. So I ended up running the cable. As you can see, this is the ME uh, smart cable right down to them itself. See, plugged it all in. So they all got power and they've all just, yeah. Oh, crikey. All right, we'll leave them alone and just let them grow. Need to let them grow. Hopefully they don't take bloody hours because that's just going to mess me up. Okay, all right. So... That's one section here done here done for this section. I, I'm obviously, I'm constantly keeping the device, the machine fed, because we constantly we need metric butt tons of these 1K chips. So we just need it to make sure it's constantly running, which it is. So this second lot here, obviously, is going to be printing our larger one, which is the 4K here. We just need to put in the uh, inscriber for the calculation. And obviously we need to get pure quartz, which we are working on. So we can run up to this and grab, where did I put it? The inscriber, the calculation, what was it? It was the calculation proof. 
Yeah. Okay, it's the calculation one, which is no problem. It's that one there. All right, so we go ahead and put that one in the machine. Just remember, we can't lose it. And we need to set it up exactly like we got it set up here. See how we got it sideways? We got to turn that sideways too, because we're gonna because everything will be exactly the same. Now, grab our little wrenchy thingy-majig out, and we go whack it a couple times. There we go. Turned it around, make it the same as the other one. We can literally just, yeah, okay, that's all good. We'll, we'll keep that on. We'll keep that on us. So, oh, why do I got two sets of seeds still on me? Oh, nuts. I didn't throw them all in. I thought I threw them all in. Crikey. All right, my bad. I didn't notice I had more seeds on me. Oh, they look fully grown. No way. All right, we've got fully grown. We've got fully grown. How many? Okay, we've got four stacks of pure. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. We'll throw these bunch here into it there we go we've got two more stacks of seeds getting made which is good all right so now we can pop those seeds into z chest here okay all right so those there we obviously got to have more get some more item duct here we need to get some extractors here and all we need to do is hook it into the main line so you see this main line here so all we need to do is this this all right, and then we get, oh, oops. So we gotta do the same as this. So we come, we come over here, we click on this. We just gotta make sure our gold's in there and pretty much we're good to go. But we obviously gotta make sure it is a pure quartz thingy. All right, so we go like that, throw it in there, turn it on. There we go, or oh, we'll press ignore. There we go, and just sort of run it in too. So now that should, this top one, the inscribe up here, should now be extracting quartz, uh, yep, yep, I see one coming. All right, that's going to work fan bloomin -tastic. So off this comes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I should have used faster pipe, but it looks cool. I like watching all the items flow in and out, back and forwards, all that good stuff. So that will go into there and start the whole process. So that will go plump, and off it goes. So, see? Bing! And that will go down into this section here. See? Uh, or we haven't we haven't set up we haven't had it we haven't got it set up to go down there yet but that will constantly pull constantly constantly pull quartz and constantly make it till the machine here is full of 64 printed so remember now we got to go to um we've obviously got to make sure we get it's getting it's got to have silicone and redstone so these two down the bottom here like see like this one do exactly the same so we've got to pretty much run it like that because remember this one has got the silicone oh not wrong one remember this one's got the redstone so the redstone goes up here and then the uh um what's he will go down here so we need to, two more to pull there we go we've got two more we need a bit of redstone um which is no problem we need obviously this printed silicone which is no problem because i'm pretty sure if you click on this one down here you'll notice it's printed silicone and we click on this one we need to make this pretty by the way guys um, so we put the printed silicone here, press white layers, press ignore. So that will start extracting when it's hooked into the main line. And obviously redstone, ignore. oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Um, just make sure it is the red, yeah, it is redstone. Redstone's going to make our calculation process. All right, and ignore. So that's on now too. So perfect. And all we need to do now is we can hook that into the main line, no problem. So you can hook, make it come we could just literally do this and it should start extracting from our our thing see boom oh well i didn't oh well, wait a second just give us give it some oh it's, it doesn't want anything just yet oh no here it comes oh there's some silicone coming now okay so now we need to tell oh, oh no <laughs> i'm stuck i got a sec hang on a sec i was bloody stuck Okay, so obviously now we need a distraction pipe. Oh, oh, it's it. Oh, we're getting printed silicone already. We got a bit of redstone going in there. Yep, got redstone. Now we just need we need obviously extract this stuff here, which is easy. Pop, pop, same thing. Tell it to that. Ignore Bob's your uncle, and that will start extracting. Oh, it should start extracting very shortly. Yep, there we go. That now is making our second set. We just got to make a metric butt ton of these freaking these quartz. So I've just got to remember what goes in this chest. So eventually, there's going to be so many freaking craftable items in this chest alone. It's going to be nuts because we want it all hooked up to the one thing. This is going to be a factory of just 
things going off. It's going to be bloody awesome. But that there is working. So all we would need to do now is same thing like this is have have it come out ex getting extracted, and then it goes into. Um, okay, so we want it to obviously go back. No, we don't want it to go into the main thing. We want it to come there. So it's going to be have to have a. It's going to be on a. Obviously, going to have to be in a different line, which is no problem. Um, which will probably go underneath. Oh, crikey, that's right. I got to remember to walk around. So we want it to cook hook into this chest line here because it, it it is a finished product. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where's my hammer? Give me my blooming hammer quick! It's a finished product, and we don't want it connecting. There we go, and we just sort of run it behind here. I know there's a metric butt ton of pipes, but this is cool. This is oh oh I was holding shift. My bad. Don't hold shift, data. Make sure it's broken. There we go. So same thing. We'll have it come out the side here, and obviously maybe we'll just disconnect this section. Hang on a sec. We'll do that. Disconnect that, and just hold shift. Disconnect that. There we go. So we can have it there. All right. So that should go along the top now. No problem. Okay. So that's printing off. No problem. Now we just sort of need it to come out and not connect together here. Hang on a sec. Oh, pfft. stop holding shift, you fruit loop. Oh, flying. Click and click and click. And just make sure it's disconnected. Oh, pfft. wrong one. Hang on. Reconnect. Reconnect this. Disconnect that. All right. So now, as you can see, it's being, it's going to be extracted out the side into our final finished chest. Um, there. All right. So now we need, obviously... We need a servo. Um, where's the servo? Here's the servo. And we just make sure it extracts out a nice speed. Ignore. So everything now will be extracted. The entire lot will be extracted now and it will be going into our... Oh, oh here it comes. It will be going to our chest. So now we'll be getting... We're getting double sets of circuits now. So we'll say... We could say this, this, so we got, we got the logic, now we got the calculation, and we'll go down and down and down and down and down, and then we'll have this to come out. This is coming along really, really blooming nicely. This is coming along nicely. See, that's constantly running now. I don't have to do anything. See, it's extracting cords and printed and all that good stuff, and oh, hell yeah. It just needs to extract redstone. Where's, where's the redstone? Oh, we got more printed on its way. Oh, redstone's infused with it right now. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Everything's everything's working. Is Obviously, that's what we want. It just needs this redstone, and then off it goes. All right. Okay. So, let's talk about... Let's let's talk a little bit about decoration. I was going to start the automation process, but this is starting to look but, but ugly, and I know you can do this a lot more compla compact way, but, hey, this is fun for me. This is fun. This is my first time around. Second time around, you know, it gets way compacter, and, yeah, all that good stuff. But what I want to use is the factory block for this. Like, uh, I think it's 1454. Four. Here. Aha. It's called a factory. It's called a neon blue block. Check this out. So we make these factory blocks, and obviously we can chisel them. Look at it. So you got the factory yellow. But I really, really, really like this neon, neon blue. Now, this is a processing area, so. I think the neon I think the neon boot should be mean for hallways and maybe the the factory yellow here for um thing but this is a factory block this is like a this is meant to look really tough and hardcore um so to make this factory block um ah how do you make this factory block where is the factory block why is there two pages I didn't know there was two pages all right, so to make the factory block, I have no blooming clue. It won't show me the actual recipe, which kind of sucks. Sucks. So what I need to do... Type factory block in. Um, okay, so I've got to find it. Um, obviously, hang on, director re block. Where's the default block? Is this the default block? Ah, that's the default block. I was wondering what the bloody hell I was doing wrong right there. Okay, stone iron. Oh, it's a bit expensive with the bloody iron, I'll tell you that for a fact. Oh, well, 32 of them. So stone, 
iron and stone. Pretty basic stuff. And we get, we just need a chisel, so we just need, obviously, a couple stacks of cobblestone. And what we'll do is go out to the mining world, and I'll show you guys a quick update of what, how the mining world's going. Um, real quickly, that is mining world. And we'll grab some cobblestone from there, and we'll grab some iron as well to make a few stacks of this bad boy up to make it look pretty. But, if we come up here, it's constantly running. So, you're probably curious to see how many diamonds we got. Um, where are you? 22,000 diamonds. Not going to run out anytime soon, are we? Bloomin' crikey. Definitely not. So where is that iron? Metro, yeah, that's like freak loads of iron. So we'll grab, we'll grab four stacks of iron to smelt down. Four stacks of cobblestone for now. And I'll just have to mess. Oh my God. That's a lot of freaking cobblestone. That's bloody nuts. All right. Grab some cobblestone here. And we'll make some of these blocks up. Look at that, just, just pumping, absolutely pumping it out. That's absolutely freaking awesome. Toast so much gravel. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I've got to sort out the miscellaneous chest sometime soon. Holy blooming smokes. Absolutely nuts. Oh, turn that off. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely bloody nuts. Yeah, that's nuts. I'm just looking through, seeing if there's any any anything crazy in here that we picked up from villages or anything like that. But as you can see, it is filling up with miscellaneous stuff like armors and and all. oh, got to turn that off. And the, you cannot filter out the drones, which kind of suck. But yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, let's head on home, make some of this up, make see if it is the pretty stuff we want. And then we just need a stick and some what's we call it. So we'll throw. That in there, get some iron going. Get this iron. Oh, I need more. I need to make more speed upgrades. All my furnaces don't have speed upgrades. It's gonna take forever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This won't take forever. That's eight of these in this one. And we got our first lot. Bing. All right, got our first lot. We might take uh, this out just so we can just so we can get started. We get 32, remember? So we'll grab those out. There we go. All right, so that's yeah. So we get thirty-two of them. I'll, I'll end up doing this, um, and then we just need some a chisel, chisel, chisel. I know I got a chisel out the front here. Hang on a sec. I do have a chisel right here. There we go. Oh, somebody's sleeping. Hang on a sec. I better go sleep. Uh, oh, it's peeing down rain and everything. Hang on a sec, guys. Lots of people on the server tonight. There we go. I'm sleeping. There we go. Everybody slept. Good stuff. Head back in. And we'll make some of this up real quick. And so this is where we can play. Alright, crafting table. Click. Shift click. Oh, oh, I don't have enough. Hang on. And grab. There we go. Go, 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 go. I love my armor. I cannot get enough of it. Can I shift click now? Yes, I can. Boom. Oh, God, that's a lot. All right, so now we get to play with this nice shiny block for decoration. So I was thinking something like, like sealing it up like that. Oh God, yeah, sealing it up like that. Oh, there we go. Sealing it up like that so you can't really see it, and just do that there and have it sort of like that. So you wouldn't be able to see it at the end of the day and just have it sort of go up higher. We should have made it go up higher. That's printing now. So now, if we whack it, oh, if we whack it, check it out. Check that out. We can literally turn it into a factory. We could do this. This is is a lot easier just to drag. Uh, how do you drag it in here? Um, I think it was. Um, all right, hang on a sec. Oh, welcome back. Somebody's welcome back. So we need to, I need to literally convert, oh, single mode, panel mode, column mode. I need to convert the whole lot at one go. It's a lot easier, but look at this. We could literally turn this into a factory area or a factory feel just by chiseling these factory blocks. I want to use probably the neon somewhere else, but this is sexy stuff right here. Look at this. We are turning it into a factory. Absolutely blooming awesome. Absolutely blooming awesome. It's definitely going to be a factory in here when I'm done. <laughs> you can still see the sides, though. That kind of sucks. Oh, that does suck. That's still going. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting distracted by shiny things. All right, hang on a sec. I want to see my blue block. Uh, there we go. And, oh yeah, check that out. That's called blue wireframe. And that's called, wow. Look at this. Oh, neon blue. That looks sexy. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to stop getting distracted now. <laughs> this is nuts. All right, I'm going to go sit down and make a metric butt ton. Where is it? Metric butt ton of these pure quartz crystals. I'm going to just go nuts. I'm going to have to go nuts. All right, I'll put these away for now. And I'm going to have to go nuts with the with making absolutely butt tons of dust. And then turn those into seeds. Because obviously we're going to need a metric butt ton of them. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 85 of modern minecraft this has been fed the beast infinity evolve don't forget guys if you're enjoying the content to smash those buttons and i'll catch us all later